Hey everybody, so I was fortunate enough to grab a Mini Baby 3 at Winter Nam, and I wanted to give you all the first look at what I'm doing with it. So, as always, I have it connected to my HX Stomp here from Line 6, and my first goal was to use the Mini Baby 3 to replicate what I've been doing with the Micro and the Mini Baby. So, I'll pull it up here so you can see, uh, but on the center tap here, I have it programmed to Mini Clock. So it's sending tap tempo to the unit. You can't really see that, but trust me, it's working. Uh, and then on the hold function, uh, you can see that it's going back and forth between snapshot mode and stomp mode. Um, that's how I customize it. Those are two modes that I like to use. You can really customize it to do anything you want, but this is how I'm using it. Uh, and then on the long hold here, you'll see that it kicks over into tuner mode. Um, there is one small sacrifice here. Um, when I do that on the MIDI Baby, it doesn't really affect uh, whether or not it's in the stomp or snap modes, but because of the way that MIDI language works, um, I'm sending a series of commands. So when I hold this down, I'm actually sending the hold and the long hold. So I programmed it here to when I exit tuner mode, just to go back to stomp mode. Um, that seems fairly manageable to me. Uh, then on the left and right switches, I have it set so that you can uh, toggle presets, which is pretty great. So I'll tap this here and you'll see that I'm um, increasing my presets and then going down, which is great. And then I also set up a hold function. I'm gonna change the view here so you can see that. But I've also set this up on holds to be foot switch four and five. Um, so you'll see here that as I hold the left switch, I'm changing my reverb settings. So a little bit deeper reverb. And then I have a boost programmed on the right switch, uh, which I'll show you here. So if you do that, it'll show that I've got a, a pretty good boost uh, happening there. So uh, the cool thing about the MIDI Baby 3 is that you can actually send uh, a variety of MIDI commands on each switch. Um, and it's really compact too. This is kind of the size of like a pretty standard, you know, overdrive box. It's actually not quite as tall as the TMC Micro, which is cool. Uh, so if you're looking for a compact, inexpensive, and uh, really versatile mini controller uh, that's also completely customizable, uh, the Mini Baby 3 might be look worth looking into. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.